When single shines the triple sun, what was sundered and undone shall be whole, the two make one, by gelfling hand or else by none. By gelfling hand? Do you know what that means, Kira? Wait. This is a piece of the dark crystal. Then that's what my master meant. Yes. Like just peeping the karmic cycles of things and I was thinking of I brought this up in a video about like the karmic cycle of like New York rap and why uh you know things shifted to the south, you know what I'm saying, so strongly in the music game. And you know, I picked up on, you know, the fact that, you know, uh also I didn't really say it like this when I said in the video, but you know, New York rappers are uh rappers from the East Coast is, you know, more aware of, you know, occult and esoteric concepts of spirituality aka you know peace god you know what i'm saying and knowing how much they create but the shit backfired in essence because they were using it from an ego perspective of like hey we're gonna stamp the game to make it to where like a casting a spell where if you're not rapping like us then it's not considered real rap and you're not a real rapper unless you know what i'm saying and i bring up uh, again like that uh you know, in the Wu-Tang album where RZA was kind of coming at the South Neck in a little way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but about, you know, this ain't no fashion show, and da, 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 this and that, you know what I'm saying? And, look, peace. <laughs> but, you know, just, just peeping out, like, you know, again, uh, you know, trying to cast that spell because Jay-Z tried to do it to T-Pain, you know what I'm saying? It's like trying to cast a spell of like, oh, that auto-tune shit ain't shit, death of auto-tune to literally try to, you know what I'm saying? spell cast and in that man career type of shit you know what i'm saying and you know with that energy of new york and, and showing you the karmic cycle you know like uh that new york vibe of like you know kind of somewhere blackballing you know and it start from the earliest days if you'd have never heard the ghetto boys story you know what i'm saying and them going to the uh, east coast but you know it was like again like this this little wall that was trying to be built you know because what what it what came to me just now i'm like sitting here and i was thinking about like my vibe for the underdog but then also like my love for the music being in houston you know love for the screw music and artists from the south who were great artists and, and thinking about this you know like again like the, the 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 word magic of if you're not rapping and saying ribonucleic acid geometry 3,000 miles from the sun and the, like if you're not saying that you're not rapping and you're not an artist you know unless you're you know you don't read the books we read like again like trying to create like a little like a little uh like trying to close the door on some people in essence you know and you know and and, and again it's all a lesson it's no bad or right, right or wrong good or bad it's just a karmic lesson you know like some beings in this realm once they kind of get a certain level of insight, if not careful, the ego will go into it and start creating s certain, uh, you know, uh, heavy karmic energies. And again, hence why, you know, I want to say what, yeah, like going into like 99, 2000, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Juve. <laughs> the 99 the 2000. But, uh... <laughs> You know, the South music just blew up to the point where, you know, like, where literally, like, New York rappers, in order to be, you know, uh, and again, not to say that you couldn't just make your own, because I'm a fan of that. Like, you don't have to appeal to the industry. You know, you just got to, you know, as an artist, you know, just make what you, you love, you know, spit spit what you, what you spit, you know, but... Uh, the South started, you know, blowing up on such a level, you know what I'm saying, because of that energy, you know, it's like a backfire. And again, and a karmic energy where now, since you tried to blackball us out, not only is there going to they're going to be like, you know, uh, the more popular people in the music game right now. But in order for you to get any type of form of play on the radio or any of this, your song is going to have to have like a southern type of energy to it. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of reminding like, hey. You know, East Coast people, beings, you know, remember that most of your relatives and ancestors also come from, you know, the South. You know, and when we think about, you know, music in general, 
you know, I think about Louisiana, Mississippi River, you know, in certain aspects of culture or runaway slaves, you know, like the whole culture of people fleeing to the West Coast or fleeing to the East Coast or Midwest, you know, but in most cases coming from, you know, uh, the South. And no coincidence that, you know, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi River is almost like, you know, uh, Africa in the Nile with uh, Kemet or Egypt, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, when you look at like a mogul like Master P, you know what I'm saying, coming from, you know, uh, the South, you know, and, and being like the first to become, to play at least one game in the NBA on his own record label, you know what I'm saying? Shoot movies, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's just a part of, uh, you know, seeing how the esoteric karmic cycles move through every single thing. You know, even the most mundane human shit, you know what I'm saying? Where if we was just to talk about it on some human shit, it would be boring. But on another level, it is a deeper message behind, you know, every every single thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, and we could peep out. You know things from seeing what plays out you know what i'm saying like all right universal talking like this or going through this he must have you know felt like this in the past or you know what i'm saying like uh they set that stage on mostly all movies you know what i'm saying and i i really you know uh pick up on it now more on marvel movies and matter of fact the thor movie love and thunder you know the brethren who became the god killer you know uh, at the beginning of the movie they were again cause and effect is the father or should I say cause and effect is the parents to all archetypes you know got a cause and then this is the after effect you know what I'm saying and at the beginning of the Thor movie it was like you know this guy was praying to the gods to to save his daughter and the gods laughed at him you know what I'm saying that's the cause you know what I'm saying like that's what happened to him in his early stages so the effect is he he now he could have either you know he had multiple options but you know the option he chose like all right fuck it you know i'm becoming the god killer now nah, you know what i'm saying because of what gods did to me in my past so he became the the god killer you know what i'm saying became that being because of the past of him being refused or being hurt by god you know what i'm saying from his perspective you know what i'm saying so it's like all right i got y'all but you know again cause and effect you know if if uh if i'm a being who again like why i like to share information so much is like i'm a being cause and effect i, I chose to come down to louisiana we in louisiana they lack so much insight on, on on so many degrees so it's like all right i want to be a beacon for bringing forth insight you know what i'm saying because the cause was i was in an environment that was so deprived of the insight and information and the effect is now I want to be somebody who bring forth that insight and information. You know what I'm saying? But it's the cause and effect across the board. <laughs>